Hello guys, today I'm here with Dell Latitude 7390. It's quite new Ultrabook from Dell. Such a great configuration. As you can see, Core i7 8th generation, 16 GB of RAM, 512 SSD, and UHD display. Overall, it's great. And plus, the keyboard light and matte finish is really nice and it's not that much glossy screen so you don't see that much reflection as you can't see my face on the screen okay the reason is uh the display is obviously uh, matte finish anyway so the main issue today i'm here to talk about the blue screen of death example as you can see the screen it says your pc run into a problem and needs to restart zero complete Okay, so this zero never been done get 200%. Okay, so I call this is blue screen of that kind of this Windows problem. Okay, so to resolve this issue, what you can do? First of all, you're going to run a hardware diagnostic tool and see if there is any problem. But one thing, this one came out 2018. So there shouldn't have any issue. Okay. So in that way, none of the keyboard does work. So resolve this issue. What I'm going to do, I'm going to restart it. Force restart. And I will tell you why it happened. Okay. So first, it came with Windows 10 Home Edition. And I upgraded to Windows 10 Pro. And after I installed this new operating system, the computer gives me a lot of trouble like this whatever you just seen now and it's very easy and quick fix okay the problem with it is the video driver that's all or maybe other drivers as well so before it stop again we're gonna go quickly into manage see again okay I must need to get into it okay so if you have same situation, keep try. So what happened is when we reinstall the windows from operating system, the BIOS takes some updates. I mean, the driver takes some basic updates, which is not 100% compatible. And that's the reason why it happened. Okay, it's keep happening again and again. Hopefully, I will get a chance. Don't worry, keep restarting. Start my PC. Let's check this time what happened. If you can uninstall the video driver would be great if we can I don't think so we'll have enough time to do that let's go into it go to video driver uninstall it hopefully you can no all right so first uninstall the video driver then get into browser just type Dell Drivers UK and let the system to detect your PC which model it is. No thanks, feedback page. Okay. So that's kind of annoying. Like it keeps coming up and you can't totally you are totally unable to proceed any job in here okay okay so 
I didn't put the service tag. You can get into it by service tag also, but I would suggest you let the Dell detector program to detect your machine. In that way, you know which software, I mean the drivers that you needed, and it would be even much better. So as you can see, it's Dell 7390, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna detect drivers as you can see here okay so now yeah it's trying so it's checking whatever I need Or manually also you can install it as you can see since I uninstall the video drivers which one automatically came out to my system from the operating system that's what made the problem okay so this is you have five driver updates ready to install ready to download and install so let's click in here and it's much easier so in that way i believe you must need to connect your adapter power adapter okay so it's connected and now i'm going to hit in here and it says desktop save the downloads is fine click in here and see okay so now it shows I have five different updates, five different different drivers. Okay, include BIOS and then there are details also. You know, more stuff in there. Okay, I'm quite sure after the installation finish, the error message wouldn't come up again and it would be resolved completely. Okay. So let me pause the video. Once it finished, then I will see, I will restart my machine. And if the blue screen does not come back, that's mean it's already been fixed. So let's see what happened. I'm gonna pause the video just to save the time. So now the system is restarting. And I hope the problem is already resolved. So if you don't see any error message or blue screen of that, then obviously we could say this is already fixed. Okay, so the main issue was honestly the video driver. It could be something else as well, but most of the time with this model, from my experience I'm saying, most of the time the video driver. Now the question is, it turns on, I mean, after we reinstall the Windows, uh, Windows automatically update the video driver, but that is not fully compatible. That's the reason why uh, it can recognize everything uh, properly and that's why blue screen comes up but here we go as you can see now there is no more error message and let's go into manage and see the video driver is up to date or not so device manager and then display adapter as you can see and there are one or two minor uh, driver which is not up to date even when I try to do by automatically, it doesn't. But that that's not a big issue because the problem is already resolved. Okay. But finally, guys, I could say this has already been fixed. If you got any blue screen of that, make sure you try in that way before you take it to any technician and hopefully your one would be resolved and you're going to be happy again. So thank you so much for watching and bye for now.